Hi everyone! I It is Saturday night and I am so glad. I hope you can hop on and join me, but I did want to share with you some um, spring or Easter gift ideas. It's been a while since I've been on. I've been quite, quite busy today. Um, I was busy at a conference, a virtual conference all day, which is why I'm dressed uh, like this, but um, let's go ahead and get started. We got all kinds of holidays coming up for spring, and I thought this is a great time to um, share with you some, some different gift basket ideas um, or just gift ideas that you can give for those gift-giving occasions. We've got Easter coming up in April, Mother's Day's coming up in May, and of course there's always birthdays, anniversaries, and all of that going on. So uh, these are some gift ideas, um, baskets. They're more like gift baskets. And I was thinking a lot about Easter because this is a great time to get your Easter order. And you got to allow um, 10 to 15 days. And I think we're sort of right there uh, if we want to get that order in by Easter. You know, whatever it is. Uh, Easter Sunday is April the 4th. So this is the good time to, to do it is this weekend. I wouldn't stretch it any further than this weekend to put in your orders for Easter. So let's go ahead and get started on these Easter ideas. And I wanted you guys to sort of think outside the basket. That was my theme this week as I was uh, posting Easter basket ideas, which I got those directly from our blog, Ideas We Love or Ideas We Heart blog. Uh, and I thought they were some fantastic ideas and that sort of inspired me to share different gift giving occasions with you tonight. So let's go ahead and get started. This first one, we'll start with this one. This first one is just a zipper pouch. Now um, I have a plain charcoal cross hatch and of course we've got different zipper pouches uh, that you can have personalized for a gift giving occasion. This is great as a birthday gift, and you can pretty much tuck almost anything you want inside. Um, I, I love corsages. My sister makes them, as do I, uh, and so we have our little business. So uh, we got um, our corsages stuck in here. But this would be a great gift for a bestie, for mom. Think of Mother's Day. The zipper pouch is reusable. Inside, I've got a, um, oops, let me set this aside. Inside, I've got a journal, you know, a cute pen. Here's a devotional and um, a favorite movie. You can also, here's my pen, let me show you. Here's a fancy pen. I found this at the dollar store. Isn't that pretty? Uh, this was a birthday gift, by the way, for me. Um, but you can also tuck in here a favorite um, a gift card to one of their favorite places. Uh, you can tuck in their favorite treat. Um, this just makes a sweet uh, gift that you can give to somebody, and um, this, this can be part, you know, a gift that keeps on giving. Uh, again, birthday, perhaps Mother's Day, uh, this would be good, or even for Easter. If you give Easter gifts or Easter baskets to the ones that you love uh, at that time, this is uh, another idea for that. Now, with Easter in mind, I've got this cute Easter basket idea for a little girl. We've got, uh, oh, I don't want these eggs to fall. We've got, um, you know, eggs that you can fill with candy. Here's a doll or a Barbie doll. We've got some um, sticker books and uh, little books that they can read, some art supplies like pencils and stamps, uh, animal crackers. And we got like a little plastic egg with a stuffed animal inside. I think any child would love to get a little bit of a, you know, a basket like this. And again, you can make it more personal. This is a tiny utility tote. Um, this pattern is the denim distressed, and I don't, I think we're out of this particular print, but I did want to give you context for size. Uh, again, you can fill these with anything. Uh, I've uh, always been a big fan. I've never given my girls a lot of candy in their Easter baskets. I've always filled it with more stuff like this. They did get candy, you know, but not as much. Um, and so uh, this was a cute idea. I love the idea of doing a themed, um, a themed Easter basket, like a zoo or fairies or unicorns. There's plenty out there for you to get to fill a, uh, an Easter basket with a child uh, in mind for things like that. So you like this one? This is for a kid. Again, this is an Easter basket idea. 
This next one is definitely for Mother's Day. I thought this was a sweet one for Mother's Day. This could also be a great birthday gift. This is again the tiny utility tote and uh, it's more of a pamper yourself spa treatment type of, of bag. We again the corsage. I just love the added flowers but we've got another you know another devotional more like a self-care. A devotional and a journal. We've got some fragrance and some lotion. This is a homemade sugar scrub that I made. I don't know if you can see that in there. Then we got some bath bombs and of course a bath sponge. All of these things are just going to let whoever gets a basket like this know that you absolutely love them. This is again great for Easter. Oops, who's that? Hi, whoever that is. Hello, hey Max. Oh, Carlos is watching too. Um, this is a great gift basket idea just for that mom, uh, for Mother's Day, for your bestie. This is a self-care one and it works um, for just about any gift giving occasion. But I like this. This is the tiny utility tote in the rose blush metallic. So this is available right now. And again, you can make it extra special by getting it monogrammed, getting their initial or their monogram um, embroidered right here on the front. And that's something that they'll cherish always. Weddings are popular in the spring and the summer. And we have our close to home collection on in our online extras online. And uh, nothing is uh, more appreciated, I think, by a uh, married couple than having things that have their new uh, married initial on it. And this is something that they can keep. This is a little bit of a unique uh, gift. You know, we get the toasters, we get the blenders, we get whatever else. This is a, a close to home tray and it can be used as a charcuterie board. It can be used, uh, you know, in the middle of the table uh, for a hot plate. There's all kinds of uses. Uh, for it, something like this. And when you've got the family's middle initial, their new last name, this is a, a unique and different uh, wedding gift or anniversary gift uh, that any couple would love. I think that this is, this is mine, so I love it. But uh, this is a great idea. The close to home collection is being phased out and we will have it as long as supplies last. So we've got the round tray, we've got the, um, sh this, uh, rectangle tray, and all the other close-to-home products uh, that make uh, beautiful gifts. Next, let me see. Now again, thinking outside the basket, we have these adorable um, on-the-go pouches. Remember the set of on-the-go pouches that was on... Um, that was a gift idea or was a, on special in uh, the end of January through February. Well, these are now in our online extra. So they didn't go away completely. We were really happy that they were there. We've got the uh, cinch utility tote and the on the go pouches. All of them are in our online extras. And again, this makes a cute, handy little pouch that, um, that they can use later. So you just tuck in your favorite gifts uh, my sister, Maggie, you're watching. Look, this is a gnome that she made. So you can do a handmade craft uh, holding a flower. Um, I, I have lots of direct selling friends. And so I've got a couple of color streaks in here. I've got a pack of like facial wipes, some masks, some eyeshadow. I mean, just tool your gift basket to whoever you're giving it to. If they're really into makeup or they're really into hair care or nails, whatever it happens to be, fill that bag with things that they're going to need and use. This is so pretty. This is um, in the Speckled Granite Collection. And this is a rose blush metallic bag that says, every day is a fresh start. So um, again, this is a great gift for a bestie. Uh, you could give it to mom uh, for Mother's Day. This is a great bridesmaid gift. You know, imagine if you're getting married and you've got a bunch of bridesmaids, you got to get a bridesmaid gift. So get a cute little travel bag like this and fill it with a bunch of essentials that they're going to need. But again, I love coming up with gift basket ideas. Uh, and we've got lots of gift giving occasions in the spring and summer. On that same note, 
The Littles Carry Out Patty is one of my favorite uh, gift ideas or gift receptacles for, uh, for mom, for teacher appreciation, for uh, birthdays, uh, even for Easter. This is a perfect size for a little guy, you know, that's not really into big Easter baskets. And you can fit a lot in here. This one is, again, geared more towards uh, that good friend, that mom, that teen daughter, whatever, whatever it is that you like. I've got a candle in here along with uh, some fancy, you know, uh, Bath and Body Works hand soap, a journal. Uh, this one uh, happens to have, you know, my initial on it. They had a bunch of those. Here's a pretty scarf that you can tuck behind there as an added gift. And then on the back, we've got a packet of note cards or thank you cards, a pen and a highlighter. All of these are things that I think uh, some gal would love to get. I know um, they're really pretty. Uh, this is personalized. This is again mine. Uh, so it says, I love 31, but you could say, I love mom. I love my bestie. You know, um, whatever is going to fit. You can even use, choose one of the other monogram options that we have or one of the other embroidery options and uh, put, uh, you know, something else on here, their initial or whatever it happens to be. But this is a cute, cute little gift bas basket for, again, any, any gift giving occasion that you've got coming up this spring. And again, for bridesmaids, tuck in um, a couple of uh, spa favorites and they're gonna love it. And this last one, again, for a child, I always like to come up with a different uh, different gift, and I love that idea of an arts and crafts basket, uh, or arts yeah arts and crafts Easter basket, uh, and playing on that idea. As I said, I never um, gave my kids too much candy. They always had a little bit, and they kind of complained about it as they got older. But sometimes you can tuck in some of their favorite snacks. So here I've got some cheeses. These are the cereal bars, Rice Krispies, and all. And I've got sticker books and coloring books back here with uh, pens, scissors, glue, coloring pencils on the side. We've got a pocket here that you can fill with stickers and, um, you know, paints, whatever, whatever it is that they're interested in. Uh, fill that up and have this. This is the deluxe double duty caddy. We got this in a few prints. And you can monogram or embroider on this side, personalize it just for them. Um, but this is another, I, I love this idea for an Easter basket too. This is something that you can definitely get a lot into. Definitely you can fill this up with eggs. You can tuck in all kinds of um, gifts. You can probably take what's in here and put it in here. Um, just to make it a nice, well-rounded gift basket that they are going to love. What do you think of this, huh? I do enjoy coming up with uh, gift ideas. Let me adjust this so it's down a little bit. There we go. Hey, oops. <laughs> with live video. Yikes. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Julie. How are you? Well, those are my gift ideas. Do you have some? Which one was your favorite? And uh, do you give gift baskets um, at Easter time or whatever? I love the idea of a good gift basket. Um, when I got married, as a matter of fact, my bridal shower was a gift basket shower and I got all kinds of gift baskets. So I love the idea of a gift basket. Those are a lot of fun. Um, comment below, which one was your favorite? Uh, if you have an idea for a gift basket, comment below. I like the interaction and you know what? I'm just going to be frank right here. When you like and comment, comment, not like, comment, uh, in the comments, it, changes the algorithm and pushes out my posts more. So I kind of want to uh, have a little bit more activity. So I love to interact with you. I love to chat with you. I promise I'm not a stalker. I'm not going to harangue you and uh, make you buy something. That's up. That's completely up to you. Uh, so that is, that's on you. I, I don't do that kind of thing. That's not the way that I work. So, uh, but I would love to hear from you. What was your favorite idea and share me your favorite uh, thing to give at Easter time. What's your favorite Easter basket memory? Do you remember? I got this little chick, this stuffed chick one year, and I can't remember how old I was. I think I was 11, maybe 11 or 12. And that was my favorite 
stuffed Easter animal. It wasn't an Easter bunny, but an Easter animal that I got. And one year I got a white chocolate bunny instead of the you know regular chocolate. And I remember that one was really good. I think it was seven or eight, um, but I do remember those. Anyway, thanks for joining me for a little while tonight. Um, I hope you enjoyed or liked some of the ideas that you saw. Please make sure you're commenting uh, on the video and on my posts in general. Um, if you see something that you like, I would love to hear your, your thoughts on it. All right, I will talk to you later. Have a great night, everyone.